team has printed multiple batches of flight hardware for more than 40 unique parts for Terran R's first stage engines, including injectors, combustion chambers, and heat exchangers. On the stage manufacturing front, the team completed the second, third, and fourth circumferential friction stir welds, joining the second stage LOX dome to the LOX barrel and the fuel barrel to the common dome and fuel dome. This completes the stage two flight tank weldment, a huge milestone for the program. We set an ambitious goal to have a tank by June and the team rallied to make it happen. All remaining welds on the stage two downcomer have been completed, making it ready for structural acceptance testing. Stage one transfer tube segments are being manufactured and inspected ahead of upcoming welding. We've also welded development stringers with our newly installed horizontal friction stir welder, which will increase weld capacity and improve flow time for parts through the factory. This month, we finished building a second stage vacuum engine, which has since shipped to NASA status for testing. Manufacturing of the stub nozzle is underway, which will be used in ground testing in place of a full length nozzle extension. This development article will be tested in our dual bay engine stand alongside the first stage qualification engine. First stage engine qualification continues to rapidly progress, and the team is over halfway done with the qualification campaign. We're rapidly completing ascent, re-entry, and landing objectives and demonstrating full run boxes. Back in Long Beach, shear towers for the structural test stand have been installed. These test fixtures will apply large shear forces to components, verifying that they can withstand the loads experienced during flight.